everyone, Andy here. Welcome to today's video. I hope you are well. Now, um, today I'm going to be showing you a very cool tutorial. It's very simple to do. But before I get into that, I'd really appreciate if you can give me a like on this video. I really want to try and get to 100 likes. If I can, that would be amazing. Um, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon to keep up to date with all future videos. Right, and without further ado, let's get on with this video. Okay, so for this tutorial, I am using Final Cut Pro X. Uh, and the first thing you need to do is bring in your two scenes. Now, the scenes that you're gonna want are something that's kind of lineal and ideally within a horizon as well. So for this, I've got two very different scenes. I've got a countryside and I've got an urban scene. Now, first thing you wanna do is drag um, one of the scenes over the top of the other. And then what we're gonna do is, the this top scene is gonna be at the top. So we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Uh, but then because of the horizon here and the clouds are too low, what we need to do is we need to move this scene higher up. Uh, let's try it around here. And then we're going to get the lower scene. And then the same with that applies. So for this, we're going to want it to be lower. Now there's a little bit of guesswork involved just at this minute. But what you can do is you can always press V and just quickly look at the two. Now I can see that tower is still looking at the bottom, so we're just going to drop this one a bit lower down. Right now, very simple, drag, uh, not drag, sorry, click the top scene, go over to your effects panel and find graduated mask, then drag that onto the top one, and then this will appear. Now all you need to do is get the mask, this is the bit that you want to be masked, so you want to drop this lower, and there you go, straight away you can already see the effect. Now I just want it to start just around there and then drag this a little lower. Now actually, I think this scene needs to be slightly higher. So just drag it up a little bit more and then you can adjust that how you wish. Now that doesn't quite look central. I think the bottom scene needs to be a bit lower. Let's lower that one down to around here. And then basically that is it done. So once that is finished rendering, as you can see now, just with quickly toggling the timeline, you can see the effect that you're getting and it's really cool. It looks like the sky, it looks like there's another world above and the idea obviously of this tutorial is it's called Two Worlds. So you've got these two different scenes but merged into one with the sky blending. It's a very, very cool and it's a very simple effect to achieve. Now, um, if you want to just go a little bit further with this, what you could do is um, come over here to your solids and I'm just going to do a custom layer, drag that over the top and then I want to make this white. And then what I want to do with this is I'm going to use a shape mask, so come down again to your effects panel scroll down until you get to shape mask, drag that on. Then what I was thinking is a nice little effect is to sort of merge the two together is what you can do is by doing this little shape mask, it can sort of get rid of if there's a little bit of a noticeable line in between those two, those two sort of the two worlds really. Um, and just make it very 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 thin and then in the opacity what you could do is you could always just drop it down a little bit so it's just not quite as um, noticeable and then by doing that let's get rid of that effect there so then as you can see now in the middle here there is a little bit more of a white but it makes it look it's very very hard now to see where the two worlds merge so that's just a little extra thing that if you wanted to add in you can and one extra addition you could do is you could actually get all of these layers right click and do a new compound clip and then when you've done that you'll end up with just one clip here which actually I've called merged and you could add more of a sort of a cinematic look if you wish by having like a letterbox vignette filter over the top uh, and if you want to look at sort of how I achieve these kind of filters and looks you can look at um, all my sort of various uh, Final Cut 2 tutorials, but I'll pop one up in the top right corner now, which is probably my most popular, which is the cinematic effect tutorial, um, to get something um, of a sort of similar finish to this. 
Okay everyone, so I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something that you could utilise maybe in future videos or maybe you just want to have a mess with it, you don't have to publish any videos, you could just get it on to your editing software, do what I've just done and see what kind of effect you can do with the footage that you've already got. It is very cool and it's quite a dramatic look as well. If you've already used this effect, maybe put a comment below and put a link of the video they've done it on so I can actually see the effect. Or maybe you're going to look at using this in the future. So again, comment below. Let me know if you're going to use this or just have a mess with it. Really appreciate that. As always, thanks everyone for watching and see you again soon. Bye.